Welcome along to Tynecastle Park, what a venue this is for a Scottish Cup final, for a women's Scottish Cup final, things just get better and better with the facilities and the stagings of these finals, great to be here, Glasgow City are in the final, another duel against Hibs, we have seen this so many times in the League and Cup in recent years, we know Hibs, how dominant they have been in the Cup competitions, but City looking for the double today, Craig Edwards, part of our social media team for our um, coverage today, um, Craig, what a stadium this is for a final. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? It's a wonderful final. You've got the two best teams in the country and you've got a spectacular venue to host it. It's all set up, all the ingredients are there. I've just got to hope that players from both sides deliver and it's a entertaining match for neutrals and for City fans. Hopefully a, a good result at the end of it to complete a fantastic 2019. Yeah, and obviously in terms of um, the teams looking at the, the sides today, and for City, comparing to the semi-final, just the, the one change, the goalkeeper change, so pretty strong. There have been one or two players that have been perhaps um, cosied in and rested up for this cup final. Yeah, definitely, and I think having, obviously, the League One, the Bromby game, you've got that couple of league games where you can rest players, and I think Scott's used that well, he's rotated well, and I think it means that you're coming into this game with a fully fit squad, and it should, they should all be fresh, which is the important thing as well. So, from Scott's point of view, he couldn't have asked for a better preparation for this. We know Hibs haven't been quite strong in the league this year, but have still been tough games in league action. Uh, in the Cups, they know what they're going to do. They're in the, you know, their, their neighbours' backyard and hearts. Um, you know, there is players, Jamie Lee Napier has taken on the mantle, Siobhan Hunter score goals from set pieces. So, uh, despite them not being quite so close in the league, there's still an awful lot of threat there. Yeah, they're still a very good side. They won the SWPL Cup, let's remember, in May, beating City on penalties. So they're a good side, and they've all, they obviously had European experience in August as well. So the two sides, they are the best two in the country. They've shown that in the league table, they're first and second. They've both got a trophy this season, Hibs the SWPL Cup, City the league. Both will want to finish it off. Hibs, you don't win seven cups in a row by accident. They're obviously a very good side. And City don't win 13 league titles in a row by accident. So it's, it's going to be a very tight, and it is very much one, whatever team turns up today and plays better will win the cup. It's as simple as that. And as always, a bit of a cliche, fast start would be great, an early goal City, you know, the fans, there are plenty of fans coming here today, absolutely love that. Yeah, you saw what happened in Bromby when they scored the, old, the early goal, it gave them a lift and went on to get the result. And I think that's been the, what you could say, has been the difference when these two sides have met in the league, is City have always scored first. Obviously they won 1-0, the 2-1 and 3-1, they've got the early goals and they've kind of been able to dictate how the game's gone. For Hibs, that'll be key today, is that they've got to score first and then rattle City, as they did in the semi-final of this competition last year. So the first goal's crucial and if it's early as well, it could... You know what, in cup finals, early goals are always important because it opens the game up. But today with these two, I don't see them either, either of them really wanting to close up shop and try and hold on. They both want to attack, they both can attack, they can score goals. So it should be, on paper, a really fascinating game. Um, and as I say, we'll have all the usual stuff after the game as a win or lose, but hopefully a win for Glasgow City is a look to get the double and f you know, crown a fantastic season that has been with the league and the Champions League quarterfinals. Kickoff here is at 10 past four. Well, we come to the end of a long, hard, punishing season and the top two sides in Scotland once again in 2019 for Hibernian, who finished runners-up to Glasgow City, 13 in a row champions. Glasgow City, 
from the semi-final win against Rangers. Only one change, and that is in goal with Lee Alexander coming in. Kirsty Howitt's top goal scorer for the season. 36 goals in all competitions. Nine of them in the Scottish Cup. Clear sign comes back to the fold after missing a game or two towards the end of the campaign. Leanne Ross is looking to captain her side again to a Scottish Cup. The first time so I think we've done that since 2015. Well, the goals have come from two different areas of the park for Hibs this campaign when they restructured their side after losing players. Jamie Lee Napier hasn't got any in the Scottish Cup, but she looked at the remedy that. She's got 21 in all competitions. Siobhan Hunter in the pitch defence, but she also scores free kicks and bullet headers from corners. She's one to watch out for. Jill Murray has captained her side to the recent domestic cup success in recent seasons. The match referee at Tynecastle Park for this big occasion is Lauren Whitehead. And Claire Shine has got a hat trick at Ainsley Park. And that was a neutral venue back in the day, back in 2015. She gets the cup final underway, so you look to win it for the first time since that 2015 final. And you're looking for success on Hibs jersey after joining from Rangers in the summer. Murray Swanball is going to find the Alexander for the first time this afternoon. I think Alexander can keep a clean sheet today, she would in the honours of being the top keeper. Both keepers have played a lot of games in both with the same number of clean sheets. Boyle with an early good ball here for Kaylin Miki. Is it going to stay in play? Not quite there for the Hibs player making the run. McMurray deals with it. Going up in Napier. Napier once again. Hits have settled into him well. Sorrow's header. Mickey. Ross having to deal with that, does enough for now. It was bright in the first three minutes or so. Okay for Kavna. And there was Howitt. Hunter coming in ahead of Shine. And there's Howitt, Hunter on the floor. In fact, be a little light defensively where Hunter recovers. Well, I can't quite find Doherty. Back all the way to five. Shine as ever goes for that charge. And Napier's offside.
cross. Floating, looking for Shai. Coming together with Siobhan Hunter. And a few light protests. Could be the duel of the afternoon. Taking a clobber into the face from McGregor. If you didn't see it, played on. Mickey. against City player there. Scott Booth not happy already inside six minutes and two decisions he's felt going went against his side. Quickly taken up there. Kavna back to Miki. Muir. Sanders going to get there ahead of Napier. Kavanagh for Tutus Lean, if there's a bit of pain and boil here from Napier. Dalgar, I don't know if she's in pain again. Then McSorley with a loud challenge. And if you say that was fine, she's won a lot of goals so far. Here's Shine chasing. And Murray has to just knock it out of play. Doherty in towards Shine. Love. So he's looking for a bit of possession in that final third. Crichton. Order is stretching. And Muir can dot this one back. Fine. It's not the best. It's bounced off the referee. And no one can profit from that. And we start with that bounce ball. again, and put under pressure by Shine, but found Muir, good touch, Napier, McSorley, his hand was up for ages, the flag didn't oblige until Napier got near the ball, a couple of times now Hibs have nearly been in behind, it's Shine looking to win this trophy back hole, determined to not let it happen too many more times. Back up, McLaughlin, oh, former Hibs player, and six of those trophies of a Hibs player in uh, recent years. 
Kavner. Nice cleans up. Hunter's boot. Sean Hunter can lay the ball. Cool from Alexander. He's got the favour and the experience to the back. McSorley and Ross. McSorley's put under pressure though. Wishy pulled back. That's a lovely ball here from McLaughlin who takes hold but couldn't find how it. Mickey was in the way. Uh, coming together with Ross. And Napier, quick shake of the hand, set a free kick. That's how it is around the corner. There it is. First corner kick of the game. Any order to take then, once the referee sorted out the RG Bargy. So Haley Lauder. We go away and think of Murray. Well, let's stay and play from here, well, it does to clear. I think we had three balls in the pitch there. And we'll eventually find out where the, <laughs> what the right position is. Crichton. Doherty. Hunter ahead of Shine. Love cushions. Shine. Crichton coming in, but there comes Five Thought. That was a nice bit of invention and clear shine just a little too close to the Hibs goalkeeper. Half a moment. I'm going to be quick with that one. Kavna. Superb ball towards Muir who gets away from Lauder. Crichton comes in. And chasing so time for Lauder as it stays in play to try and clear. He picks out Doherty. And out from the back. Crichton running into trouble there. From Cornet. That's forward towards Napier. Alexander leaves it, and a bit dicey, they decide to go out from the back and then Crichton didn't see the player behind and around nothing of danger in the end of substance Ross Shine against Hunter. Shine ahead of Hunter. Now needs some help. Finds Howitt. Chris Howitt bulldoes him by. Murray gets a touch. Slides it away from Kerr. Foul against Sam Kerr. Murray on the floor. It was a, a good ball forward in the end. Shine outpaced Siobhan Hunter. Marie, just when she was clearing, just took a little bit of a part on her from Kerr. Yeah. 
to bounce, Ross, it's a bit slice, McSorley. So a lovely ball, Doherty. And he just had that one under cover, though, under control. Doherty with a challenge and didn't get much of Gallagher. It's going to be a bit of a chat from the referee, Lauren Whitehead. From Almost halfway, you think, well, no real danger with Siobhan and Tony, you never know. I've <laughs> to blast it back in her direction. Here's Mickey. Loving on McGregor, the block and heads away. Reasons. I think I'm not too surprised with the fact it was a free kick given there. 16 minutes played, Hibbs got a good set piece opportunity with Rachel Boyle. Straight into Alexander's hands. Poor pass from McSorley. Comes through for Doherty. Mickey. Assistant can look at each other eventually, make a call. Glass can certainly give them the throw this time to Hibbs and Harkinous. Sorry. Oh, they're at the stretch. Freak against me here. Oh. Pull and tug of the shirt. Short Clayton. Open to no one in orange. And the tail of this first half so far has turned into one of those edgy, scrappy affairs in these two. How it? Yeah, I only find the McGregor. Ross for Howitt, Kea. Yeah. 
Evet. McLaughlin. Good play. Just going to come through for five. Although well, was closest to it, but... Very comfortable. from McSorley. Look at that for how it got. That was a good play from Mickey, but here's McLaughlin taking over in orange. McLaughlin looking to whirl by Mickey. It's on a good spot here for City. A better couple of minutes spell. There's uh, Boyle, top with a big stretch, but Napier picks back up here. Muir support, Hibbs getting forward here in numbers. In towards Gallagher, McSorley gets a touch. Lauder going to have to watch here. It's bounced off Muir. Love and McSorley, and that's calm and cool. And at the line looking for Shine. Sorry, no one in orange just to enjoy our Murray. Clint. Bit of space there, but just runs away from Howitt. Kavner scoops up from Hunter. There's how it throws. Clinton back up of Mickey and skipping by Hunter. How it goes early! And it's the closest we've been to a goal. As green and white players are surrounding and surrounding. An ambitious try from Kirsty Howitt. There she looked up, seen five. It wasn't miles of her line, but just a little bit. Trying to nestle it over her head into the top left corner. But not to be for Kirsty Howitt. Right in the head of Boyle.
Coming towards Shine. Bob stretching. He's going to find Doherty. Kerr. Lauder. Kerr turns away from Cornet. Decent little dig from Sam Kerr. Going to power to Tullow 5. And straight into her pad. See what she's trying to do. Find that little gap to place in the corner. Couple of little tries for City in the last two or three minutes. Lauder has scooped back up and shined for Kerr once more. Shine to Blast. Clear shine. It's not far away at all. Well, she scored that hat trick in the final in 2015. The last player to score. You know, when the sign of Scottish Cup it's so long ago now. And looked up, seen the space, and just blasted it wide. Crichton. Now Shine peeling away from Hunter again here. She's going to need some help as Hunter makes the challenge. I don't know if they're claiming for a corner <laughs> or a foul of City players. I think it was for the corner. It is a corner. This last five minutes or so has been the best way of the game for Glasgow City in this first half. City's second corner of the game. It's Hayley Lauder to deliver. Backstick for Crichton. Still around. Muir trying to get it away from Kerr's path. Napier the only one forward in green and white. But there is others coming. And City are a bit exposed here. As they're looking to find McGregor. Not quite the touch, but it does find Gallagher on the break. Joe Love trying to marshal away. And does so really well. Crichton and now Shine through the middle on the other side. Clear Shine's through. Joel Murray trying to get there. Clear Shine. It's straight into five hands. It's a fast pace now, this segment of the game. And you did have flashbacks to that Clear Shine hat trick four years ago with that run through the middle. One on one. Murray just perhaps did enough to put it off. And now Jamie Lee Napier at the other end flashes by. In fact, like six or something attempts. From either side in the last few minutes, here I'm scaring stuff. Shine at one end, saved. Relatively comfortably. And Napier couldn't get on target at the other. Now there's more space in this middle area. Shine looking to get through, but that's just going to run away, but the flag goes up anyway. Head about, Clayton couldn't reach. Oh, skill from Cavanaugh away from McLaughlin. Gallagher's offside.
Cross. Hunter seen that one coming. So uh, that's a bit short for Muir. Here's Lauder. Good recovery, though. Napier. Napier getting by a couple. Space for Kavanagh. And it's 1-0. And here they go. And they scored. Half an hour played. A sweeping move from Hibbs. And it's then Versailles looking to retain the Scottish Cup and they have the lead. It's all made by Napier's work, found Kavra on the far side. And that ball which is so hard to defend. Finished with a bomb from Amy Gallagher. And just when Sunny had called her best tenure as well the Ninth goal of the season for Gallagher. Clint Kerr's flick on the reach side. Placed by Kaelin Mickey. Right and back with McLaughlin. Slipped to that crucial time where she was getting the cross in. Oh, a good play by her and Crichton. Right in care, it's looping but looping into five hands. And we'll power on that. Boyle. Hunter offside Napier. She was offside. For Kea. Not a free kick on McGregor. Ten minutes to half time. Sutty looking to reply here. Liam Ross with the free kick. Is Ross. Can't find the help in this way, Howitt. Oh, there's McSorley! 
Ellis McSorley equalises. Five minutes after Hibbs taking the lead. And she was left three to blast at home. A third Scottish Cup goal of the season. Well, the first ball in wasn't completely clear. Well, how it was around, and then the ball went through. But Ellis McSorley, and she has a blast, usually from a free kicker or a set piece, certainly in her previous spells at the club. But this time from close range, absolutely no chance for Jenna Five. One one. Kerr now picking up in space, left and right, it's Lauder. Just flashing across and searching Kirsty Howitt. Shrine trying to get in there, I think she may well have got a little toe in that from Gallagher. Be a little loose here, Fife. Come to watch again, Shrine. McSorley's header. I think with the Hibs goal since about the 20 minute mark, it's certainly City's play has been the most threatening. I think with that one Hibs chance which they took. The hip started with a flurry, and now long ball from McLaughlin. Hunter's going to get there first. Sophie back in a good spot, though. McLaughlin. Crichton. Three bodies around her. McLaughlin in just over the top of Lauder. She may well outpace Muir to keep it in at the other side. Sophie's ball. Shine. And by Cornet. And two shots for handball, Love and Ross now. Lauder. Doherty, good one too. And three getting into the box here, Lauder's cross is coming. Left, there's Crichton! And City have turned it around! Six minutes before half time. Leanne Crichton has scored a couple of huge goals against Hibs in recent memory. In the league earlier in the season, one of them. Of course, she recently won the league last season against Hibs, but how about that for a delivery? You could see the players fun then, and it was Leanne Crichton. Haley Lauder's ball was superb shine. How about Crichton making the runs? And a big game player, so much biting around the park, but adds the goals as well. Her ninth of the season.
Sam Kerr coming in, so he does up there, and that's taken a touch, but just coming away from Shrine. Touch actually was important. On the few north side, otherwise. Boyle. Muir. Well, Lother may have just tickled her heels. Uh, if we said no, they're going to slide a good few steps after. there from Gallagher. There's blocking back. Howitt. And up against Kavanagh. And a slip and a slide on Jolov slipped and then by unfortunate nature took out Boyle. <laughs> seconds left of regulation time in the first half. Murray's free kick. Oh, I think will be against Hibbs player. Stop the slime at the end of the first half, but the lead for Glasgow City. Hibbs taking the lead, might have put the Frighteners in like previous years. And maybe Gallagher scored, but this was a spell of the game in the last 20 25 minutes. We're probably City with the better after Hibbs started strong. Ellis McSorley from close range, blasting in for a 1 1 just a few minutes after Hibbs scoring. And then Neon Crichton, five minutes later, leading at the break City by two goals to one at Tyne Castle. Underway then, second half of the Scottish Cup. Glasgow City with a lead in a Scottish Cup game. 
after turning things around in the frantic final 15 20 minutes of that first half can so they do the job in the second half and win the cup for the first time in four years Ibs, I'm sure haven't finished their battle yet getting back into this game Here's Hunter. Love. Back to McLaughlin. Ross. Hunter. Oh, she's lost it here and Claire shines through. Oh, she was in two minds and tried to square up for Lauder who was coming in, but Lauder wasn't really in a position to gather. That could have been a blockbuster of a start to the second half of the first 90 seconds. This time dispossessed by Crichton. Shine going sideways. Lauder. Lauder across the known and Orange and Collette. Only five. And City have left or carried on with the left off at the end of the first half. Cornet, who's been pretty quiet in the game. And if he hasn't, and Gallagher, and here's McGregor. Has went wide. Napier coming in. 2 2. Kelsey played a big part in the first, and she scored the second. Three and a half minutes into the second half. And what a time for your first Scottish Cup goal of the season. It was good play, and quite similar to that first half goal. A couple of cutting passes which seen City stretch the defence. And Napier was one and she got it and dispatched it past Lee Alexander for 2 2. Perhaps you could say it against the shape of the start of the second half again in terms of play. After a, a fast start from her, it was about a slightly scrappy first 20 25 minutes. It was that nerviness once more. It actually turned into a bit of an entertaining fair between these two, which you have seen doing in the recent years in the league, particularly.
Similarly for Lauder. Lauder once more. And good run here from Kea. And to get round Hunter. Good feed, but eventually stopped the combination of Hunter and McGregor and a free kick given against Kea. Steady on attacking through. on by Gallagher here for Kavanagh this is flipping around once more in here, too, too high for Napier Napier oh Kavanagh it's well met and taken by Alexander and she's going through the defenders at the moment Kavanagh scored an excellent goal in the semi-final he only gave Hibs the lead. Lauder is in trouble here from Gallagher who scored, opened the scoring. Amazing what a goal can do. Here's Muir. Back it comes towards Muir, not quite the touch. Ross has left the short. Alexander's not clear it. Gallagher comes back in. It's KO for Ross and they've turned it around. And Lynn City, but in the first half, Hibs have done the second. The Kalara at this moment in the defence. Mistake after mistake, and Hibs provenate. Well, I'll go down as an own goal, or will I go down as. Hibs player well, looks like an own goal. Goodness gracious me. Extraordinary game. Here's Kea. And Hunter's clearance just charges straight back off Kea. Boyle keeps it in off the hips player, it looked like. Not quite, but I thought they might have taken a touch off the last one to go up in the stride and charge. Sorry. Love. Only <laughs> 10 minutes leaving that into the second half here. Lauder. Love again. McLaughlin. Lauder made a run but away from the ball. Not in the same wavelength. But Lo Love with it back. Crichton. Flag stays down. Lauder. Little death touch from McLaughlin. I don't know how it slips on, it's just going away from her anyway. Shine gets a little block on, but it will be a goal kick. For Kea. Here's Shine peeling away. Thought about slipping through Howitt. He pushed by, but Love takes over. Shine. Kea. It's a strong challenge from McGregor. Crichton! It's a great drive. Well met by Jenna Five. Corner to come. Space all up and a terrific effort from Leanne Crichton. Fife was heading in that corner and met it well. <coughs> Lauder. 
Leonros with the corner. 11 minutes into the second half. Solid looking to try and get a flick. It's off Hunter. Lawler trying to help it back on its way. And there's a coming together of heads by the looks of things. McSorley, the City player down. Sorry, look okay heading off. Debrief from the restart. Solid straight back on to go away a free kick. Back on as well now. Joe Murray with a free kick. Comes looking for Cabinet. It's going to be a corner to the side in front. Got both in sense in the sidelines. I think this is the first corner in the game. This is pair up there. Now Shine needs some help. A city look to break. There's Lauder and Crichton. It's a wrong move. Shoulder of Crichton and arms are down, but free kick given. Almost a summer prison to the free kick a minute or so back from Joe Murray and Hebbs. Flash of Crichton's face. Gregor for Napier. Of 
flashing away from, from any danger. Just over an hour gone. Sorry this time with a poor on it. Does it come 10, I think? Now fell back into pattern in the first 10 15 minutes of the first half. McLaughlin. Hunter away from any reach of Shine. Kavanagh. McLaughlin. Kerr. Oh, there is Shadow and Hunter. shoved, vantage played as Ross now comes forward plenty of space through the middle and here's McLaughlin cut in, once, twice away from Kavanagh, on Wadder bounced up off Murray it came to her very quickly, Wadder couldn't really get the strike she wanted I'm not sure she was expecting it the head there of Napier that could well be a cheap corner and Alexander's just going to get there Napier still on a heap on the floor sorely for Doherty so not putting the ball out of play Hebs Arthur Getting ready to come on here. Sixty-five minutes is up, of course. Scored the opener. The opener for City, anyway. And Jenna Clark comes on. Still feeling the effects of coming together a few minutes back.
looking it towards Boyle. But we'll have a goal kick. Spins away from Newark. Plenty of time to roll. Here's how it. Oh, that's another miscommunication. That can't quite scoop up. Here's Kavanagh. That's short. McLaughlin. By Mickey. By Kavanagh. By McGregor. Who clips her. It's a foul on the edge of the box. over the ball <laughs> 68 minutes just overplayed it is Lauder to find Carroll but it's not near the target what a skinny wall Cabinet's control. Lauder. Love. Howitt. Head up and drive. Driven to corner. Care is taken out. If it's a play on love, floats it for Lauder. By Mickey. Shine coming in and Hunter right in front of her head. You know, good job Hunter got the ball because Tershine's head had been taken off. It was a beautiful little delivery in. And it did reach Shine, that surely the equaliser. Still a chance from the corner. We've seen the set piece threats from Glasgow City during this game. Lawler. It's deep. There's Shine! 3 3. And of course, Claire Shine would have a say in a cup final against Hibs. And it's her first Scottish Cup goal of the season. And good, good timing in this 70th minute. Fabulous delivery in. It was deep, but Shine was in the pocket. Ten point. Or the equaliser again. What a game this is. What a final 20 minutes have got here. Is the cup staying in Edinburgh once again? Is the cup going to Glasgow? Are we in for extra time potentially? <laughs> Certainly remarkably, markedly different from the League Cup final in May. It's a bit of a damp squib. 0-0, 120 minutes. Excellent showcase. Shine and care, putting the pressure on, and helps to get the throw.
communicate. Trying of Hunter, Sussy back in the pressure zone. <laughs> McLaughlin. Lauder. In there towards Shine Hunter, who trying to hook up. Here's Kerr. Not enough lot of support to the left of her. McLaughlin. Lauder on the turn. It's Lauder! Oh, what a strike. It was in the path of Fife, but she had to tip it over. As Hibs make their first change. Shannon Leishman going to come on here for Colette Cavanagh. Three and a half minutes ago, we've seen a corner from this range that's caused problems. Neil Lauder with the chance again. Fife got fingertips, but foul in there anyway. Pace and energy with Leishman on. It's been dicey a little bit there. It's a bit of slice as well from Clark, but Kerr should get a nod on. And to McGregor, Napier, Lauder. Both sides will feel they can win this in regulation time. Love. Offside, Howard. I think Shine might be offside, but the ball didn't go to her. That's why Love went out wide. Playing themselves under pressure defensively, and Boyle's picked this back up. Should be a corner here, it is. And that was all off of City's own doing there from the short corner. Or short restart, I should say. A super cheap way to concede. Boyle 
Out came Alexander. A very important punch. She's not a free kick anyway. I think perhaps blown up for the tumbling that Ross took. Shine money, some clearance. Yeah, I can fall his athleticism is going to be required, and the closing stage is perhaps longer. How it? How it kept on going, spirals away though. Yeah, it has probably run her guts well, truly really out, not just today, this season. What a season she's had. Another set up goals, just scoring the bucket load she scored. And a pair of socks has been worn out this afternoon. Megan Foley on. You know, can set up a few goals, perhaps underratedly, and make the crosses she can whip in. A ball which might well reach Leishman and does. Property with the block. Pace has calmed down in the last few minutes, but Hibbs perhaps just find that extra bit of wind. McGregor though can't find anyone. Doherty. Fulton from Murray. Leishman. Clark concedes the corner. Doherty headers away. Ross the first one out to try and, and hold Cornet back with Mickey. Long, long boot from Alexander. Mickey's that's not the best. Final ten minutes of this pulsating final. Question could well be, will it be the final 10 minutes of the game? Well, we have extra time. Here's Shine. Shine will take the throw. Don't quite go out for the corner of the Hibs player. Round comes Kerr. Corner. All three goals coming from set pieces from Glasgow City. And Haley Wadder, the rider of them. That's half clear again, all over the goalkeeper. And the referee, more often than not, blows up. 
long way. It certainly has. Pretty much every time there's been any sort of pushing and shoving around the goalkeeper. Shine, it's bowling around to your cat with Boyle, a bit of RG galore. And it's came through for Gallagher, she's all alone. Ross gets a good foot in and dropping it back to Alexander. Long from Ross. Mickey and Mother could just quite collect either of them. And turn, Mickey has it back on, only given to Kat. Oh, his shine. Can't she find some support? Love, was she pushing the back like Cornet? Certainly a question being asked by Leon Crichton. <laughs> Nothing doing, said the referee. Care. Skipped by Crichton. Care recovers the situation. Some tired bodies out there. Five minutes just over to go plus stoppage time. Could well be another 30 to come. Davidson may well be coming on shortly, perhaps. Uh, Doherty on Boyle.
Muir. Surely a foul there, trying to take out Foley. Doherty's ball, Crichton with the flick on, here's Shine. Twisting on Foley, oh not quite the first touch, was she taken out? Who was taken out? It looks like it's the Hibs player on the free kick going Hibs way. Yellow card for Megan Foley for the challenge. Murray back to her feet. Strong on Gallagher, Lauder, Shine coming in, Lauder, need some help, Doherty's going to come in, all the way back to Alexander, is that late on Hunter from Doherty? Doherty fully chasing hard here. Eighteen months or so. Often <laughs> send it back that direction. Oh, swiftly by a hunter boot the other way. That's a foot race with Shine ahead of Hunter. She's out wide, needs some help. Can Sydney find this moment? Clear Shine is great skill. Clear Shine has won it potentially. An amazing solo goal from Clear Shine. And is that enough? Is enough of the cup being in Edinburgh? In the 90th minute, extraordinary scenes at Tyne Castle. Quite sensational. It was a long ball through. A tiring hunter couldn't keep up with Shine. She had so much to do as players were tiring their way into the box in orange. But she just used some great skill. A clear sight has once again won a cup potentially for Glasgow City. As we go to three minutes of IO time. So they're going to send numbers forward to your heads. It's not over just yet. Crichton and now Shine. Only Hunter and Murray, the two perhaps staying back. There's four up top now in green and white. <coughs> One well, goes towards Davidson, and shadowed out by Ross. It's a throw in, not a corner. Oh, there's pokes out of weight. Davidson. Gregor for Muir, Murray, Siobhan Hunter now acting as an extra forward, wide it goes to Muir, 
There's about six players in there. Clark's head at Crichton. There's huge amounts of space if Crichton can get it out of her feet. And she finds Kerr trying to then get the foul. Shine comes in. Played at least the two for the three minimum. Maybe a few minutes, a minute or so more, certainly 30 to 40 seconds. Kerr. That's going to be a foul. Almost there. Almost isn't quite there. Love well, is going to try and send it down to the corner. And Muir sends it back up the direction. It's out of play, though. The minimum of three minutes has been played. It's over! It's the double for Glasgow City. The rain ends for Hibs in the Cup. The Scottish Cup, after four long years, is coming along their mate back to Glasgow. What a contest between these two over the recent seasons. The league games have been thrilling. The cup games have been nearly and tight. The League Cup final, an example of a bit of that script earlier in the campaign. But Glasgow City and Hibs with a blockbuster here. And credit to Hibs for the run and for the game. They took the lead through Gallagher in the 31st minute. Ellis McSorley and Leon Crichton with a sucker punch double not long after. Met City were two and a half at half time. And then a Lee Napier and an own goal double in quick succession early in the second half. Turned things back in Hibbs direction. Before clear shine with a goal with 20 to, to play from the corner for 3 3. And then a magnificent solo run and finish from the Irish forward who's done it big time in the Irish Cup final. She did it big time four years ago against Hibbs. She's done it again against Hibbs. And it's a late, late, sweet goal. Astonishing game, the final score at Tynecastle. Glasgow City 4 at Benin 3. Glasgow City are Scottish Cup winners for 2019. such as Jordan McClintock, Carla Genesoli with big goals in the league and also in the cup. The Alexander, well it's going to be a draw between the two goalkeepers in terms of clean sheets this campaign. Both have played well. All these players, certainly everyone was tasting the success of the first time in the Scottish Cup. Ellsbury Sonny's a pro at it. But think about her strike, hopping along still. Nicola Doherty. Experience gun, Taylor Lauder, Leanne Crichton since coming back to the club. She hasn't won this trophy either, of course. Joe Love. There's Clear Shine, the heroine at the end. And there is Lee and Ross. Well, City donated the trophy at a different spell since she's joined the club in the last 15 years. But it has been a long, long, agonising wait. Too long. 
if you were to ask Leon Ross, the trophy is off the point, it's going into the middle, and it's coming back to Glasgow. Your champions for 2019 in the Scottish Cup, it's the double for your European quarter finalists, Glasgow City. Sam, 2019 Glasgow City Scottish Cup champions, sum that up. Just amazing, we've had such an exciting season and uh, winning the Scottish Cup finals just topped it all off. How, how do you sum that game up, seven goals, City coming out, 90th minute, how, how, just how do you sum that up? I mean, you never really know when you play Hibs what way the game's going to go and there was goal after goal and then we were down by one goal and then we were drawn and we just had to keep pushing to the last minute and uh, Claire came out with an absolute screamer. What's the feeling, obviously, 1-0 behind, then 3-2 behind? How do you keep believing that you can turn it around again, especially at 3-2 when you've already done it once? How do you believe you can do it again? Just the full team need to uh, stay together and push each other to the very end. I mean, if we see one person slacking, we're like, come on, we can do this. And we all believe today that we could bring it back. And it really showed, and we scored in, and we scored in the end. And sum up, how, what was the feeling like when you saw Shiny's goal hitting the back of the net in the 90th minute? Oh, amazing. I think I done a knee slide from the edge of the box all the way over to Shiny. No, it was just amazing. And um, what a feeling and what a season it's been for us. Cheers. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Good Scott, Glasgow City, 2019 Scottish Cup champions, sum yes. that up. Yes. Um, incredible feeling. Uh, an amazing season. Uh, the players, you know... Did it? Didn't do it? Did it? Didn't do it tonight? It was a roller coaster of emotions, and uh, you know, at, at some points I thought it wasn't going to happen. But when you've got someone like Claire Shine um, in that kind of form, you always feel you've got an opportunity. And I did feel just towards the, the end of the last five minutes of the game that we were breaking forward. Um, if we could just get that one chance. Um, I really was hoping for it before the 90 minutes because I wouldn't have looked forward to the extra time again and uh, for her to do it in that style was incredible um, so yeah, they deserve all the plaudits they get they, they've had a long hard season but what a fantastic season How, how did you keep the emotions of the 1-0 down, 2-1 up, 3-2 down how, how did you keep the, the girls up, ready and motivated? I mean, it's really difficult because we, we came out in the second half from a comfortable position and we felt that we just had to go and control the game a little bit better, pass the ball a bit better, create some opportunities, but stay tight defensively and we just kind of opened up com completely and you know I kind of blinked and we were 3-2 down, so very difficult to then at that point. But you've got time on your side, you still know you've got the opportunity, you know you've got good players that are going to create something and you're hoping that you know the, the players that have that real quality in front of the goal you know, get their, their, their chances and I, I think Claire's two goals, the, the header, was, a, was fantastic but the, 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 the final finish to win the, the match was just incredible and just a, a great a great um, spectacle all in Craig because you've got a great venue, a good good crowd behind us, a good crowd behind Hibs, on TV, you know, a, a seven goal thriller and it doesn't get much better for promoting women's football than that. How did how do you sum up Claire's goal? Obviously, nine, the clock ticking towards ninety, and you see her breaking through. Did you feel that that was the moment it was going to happen? I did, yeah, I did. Because as soon as she gets into that position, about seven, eight yards out, um, and then she's twisting and turning, <coughs> cut onto her left foot. As soon as she cuts onto her left foot, I'm thinking, just hit it sweet, shiny, and um, she caught it so well. And as soon as it sort of rose up, I knew it was going in the top corner and. Yeah, great. Just uh, the emotion at that point is just, just.
just so delighted and, and relieved. And 2019, 13th league title in a row, the Scottish Cup for the first time in four four years, Champions League quarter finalists must be happy. Yeah, it's been it's been amazing. It really has. It's been you know by far the best season, and to still be in the Champions League um, from this season and still have the Champions League for next season to look forward to. Uh, it's it's great. And I did say that if if we could win the the Scottish Cup, it would for me it would, it would cap it all off. It would feel like we've actually won the treble, and despite being in the the League Cup final and not doing it, um, what we've got I think is is even better. So delighted with that. All right, cheers. Thanks, Scott. Cheers. Guys. cheers. cheers. This is a game of my heart.